Welcome to the OnlyFans Secrets Marketing Podcast. The goal of this podcast is to help both new and established OnlyFans creators learn the basics of online branding, marketing, and promotion to help you make more money with your content and maximize your time online. My name is Richard Lewis, and I have over 20 years of internet marketing experience. So let's get started with today's topic. And that topic is OnlyFans promo scam, let's discover me. So as you all know, I made a pledge on this podcast to weed out the bad Twitter and promo actors preying on OnlyFans creators. So this week's episode is dedicated to one particularly egregious case of deception in the form of the site and promotion called Let's Discover Me. So in this episode, I'm going to discuss you know, what I discovered about the promo and why you should avoid it. Uh, first, though, I want to talk about uh, the first week of providing uh, legitimate promos to creators on Twitter. So uh, I did mention in the last podcast that we were moving to a weekly format, so I'd be able to devote more time uh, to other endeavors, uh, like creating a promo on uh, Twitter that is effective, that's ethical, and that's organically built, and as well as doing more uh, blogging and writing about OnlyFans. So I'll say one thing, it was encouraging to see the demand uh, this week uh, at OnlyFans Hero on Twitter. Uh, so despite many obstacles OnlyFans creators face, uh, you guys all continue to strive for success, which I love. Um, so everyone has just been lovely and helpful, you know, as far as, you know, the promos go. Uh, you know, we set up uh, the promos on uh, my business website, which is seobounty.com, and so that people would be able to easily order uh, the promotions, you know, without someone having to be there through the DMs uh, on Twitter, or even if someone isn't, you know, actively able to talk on Twitter, they would still be able to order uh, the promotion. So what it was, I set it up at seobounty.com slash Twitter dash promotions. And I also set up uh, on Fiverr as well. Uh, I had a very interesting experience with Fiverr. A little harder to set up than one might think, uh, considering all of the different people selling basically the same kind of things on Fiverr. Uh, it was pretty hard to to get listed and to get going on that. Um, sadly, there are so many OnlyFans uh, promos on uh, Fiverr. Uh, it's hard to even find what I posted without a direct link. I believe there are 1,500 plus different promotion options uh, for OnlyFans creators on Fiverr. Uh, I'm sure you know my opinion of some of them isn't very high. Uh, a lot of them, it's pretty obvious that English is not their first language or that they're just on there doing a number of weird, odd things. I could probably devote an entire episode just on going through Fiverr and describing the different kind of sketchy promos that are on there. But I will say most of them, uh, from looking at it, are at least doing something or they're trying to do something. And, you know, it's a pretty, you know, inexpensive thing. You know, $5 for most things on Fiverr. Um, so it's not really nefarious what's going on there. Um, so I put on uh, a link so for Fiverr just in case, but mostly uh, what people have been doing is they've been using the website and they've been ordering uh, promos uh, and everyone has really come through on that. It's very easy just, you know, adding the two pictures, uh, adding your OnlyFans a link, the price of your OnlyFans, and anything that you want to mention in the promotion. And everyone's filled that out. And in, you know, almost every case, I've reached out directly to the creator, you know, myself on uh, OnlyFans Hero and just made sure they knew 
you know, uh, when the promo was going to go out because you can also choose any day and time for your promotion to go out uh, on Twitter. And in some cases, uh, I definitely have reached out and let people know, you know, this is a better time than other. As you guys might remember, I did a whole episode on uh, the best times to promote on social media. Uh, So for almost everyone has gotten the idea that, you know, weekdays are generally better and I was not getting any orders for weekends, so I offered uh, a two-for-one on Saturday and Sunday. Um, having done promotion and promo posting uh, previously at the end of last year for uh, another business, uh, I'm very familiar with the ebb and flow of promos and when people are you know, actively trying to get them. So, you know, it was a a great new uh, learning experience, uh, as well as, you know, trying to figure out, okay, is this going to work very smoothly? And honestly, it worked super smoothly. And, you know, everyone has just been really great. Uh, You know, they are, you know, it's early yet, uh, but creators are saying that so far, Uh, They are getting attention for their Twitter account, attention for their OnlyFans, subs for their OnlyFans, you know, and followers there. Now, as I mentioned, it's early. So, you know, right now I'm just getting that feedback from people, you know, what they're seeing, you know, uh, as far as success with the promo. And obviously, uh, you know, I will make tweaks uh, to make sure that that success is even greater. Uh, and, you know, at this point with Ad Only Fans Hero, uh, we're at, you know, 71,000 different followers and we're only growing. Um, so we have 14,000 just new followers just in April, uh, which really makes us a, the kind of promo that, you know, can attract new uh, followers because, or to your OnlyFans, uh, because we're really focused on making sure that the people who are following us uh, are new. You know what I mean? Like, they're not like people who existed or followed, you know, three years ago or two years ago or 10 years ago. Uh, these are people who are active right now. And as long as we're continuing to gain that new blood, so to speak, you know, you're going to get the kind of positive interaction uh, that you want from both creators and uh, subscribers. So, you know, this is just the start for this promotion and the entire concept that I have under the OnlyFans, you know, kind of hero marketing system that I'm trying to develop something that is really, you know, that uh, creators will be able to plug into regardless of, you know, whether or not they've been around for this entire ride on OnlyFans or they're just starting out, you know, brand new to be able to just have a, a, a system that, you know, they can trust. Um, and, and right now I'm also spending a good amount of time vetting people. I have a lot of people who own, you know, not, you know, exactly doing the same thing having to do with OnlyFans, but similar businesses. And I, you know, they're reaching out to me and I'm vetting them and I'm making sure that they are uh, good actors, that these are people who have it in their heart to, to help, you know, first of all, uh, that that's, before the profit motive, um, we all obviously want to make money in business. You know, only fans creators want to make money. You know, money makes the world go round. But, you know, uh, there's enough people within the community already that have, you know, money as the top priority. So I'm definitely talking to different people to try to create a system, you know, of trusted uh, providers, you know, that people can turn to. So if, you know, I can't necessarily do, you know, the, the work that, you know, someone who's trusted is doing the work. So I just wanted to update you guys on, you know, that. And I'm definitely going to have new product offerings uh, on the SEO Bounty website, uh, which is a company I haven't really talked about before, but it's a company I've owned um, for 13 years now. Um, And I've I've mentioned that I've been doing internet marketing for 20 years. (laughs) I owned a company before that company too, but uh, SEO Bounty has been the company that I've owned. And I felt that it was a good idea to go ahead and, you know, uh, rebrand SEO Bounty in the vein of, you know, fan site marketing, because this is at this moment in time, definitely what I'm most passionate about. And as I mentioned, like providing really trusted ethical marketing uh, that people can know that, you know, if they continue to, you know, edit and modify and test their 
you know, promotion that it will succeed, that the underlying foundation of that promotion is good. And it's not just, you know, quicksand for which is for a lot of promos. So on that note, <laughs> let's get down to uh, business and talk about let's discover me. Uh, you know, so that's the topic at hand for this uh, particular podcast episode. So You know, for the first time ever on the podcast, there is an accompanying blog article uh, that kind of goes over a bit more of what I'm discussing in this podcast. It gives examples, etc. And you can find this at, as I mentioned, seobounty.com slash blog. And SEO is like Sam Eric Orange. Uh, SEO stands for search engine optimization. If you're not familiar with that before, just basically is a system of helping people rank better on Google and other search engines. Um, so again, you can find this the article for this particular podcast at seobounty.com slash blog. Okay, so let's go over what Let's Discover Me is. So Let's Discover Me is at letsdiscoverme.com. And uh, from what I can tell, just based off of the most recent of their promotions on Twitter, their promotion handles, I believe that they started this around June of 2020. Now, they have a lot of different Twitter promos. Uh, A lot of them are repurposed uh, accounts. Uh, because, you know, they say 2011 on them or 2010. These are usually the ones that are in the hundred thousands. And as I mentioned, you know, you can unfortunately gain a hundred thousand account back in 2010, take it over and then start adding people from the, you know, SW and OnlyFans community. And now you're at 101,000 and it looks like you have a hundred some odd thousand people, but you really only have those, those thousand. And as I've gone over, there's some promos that have 7,000 people that are better than ones that have a hundred thousand people. So I first noticed uh, them because I would see this high retweet uh, number uh, on their promotion tweets, despite never seeing any of their ads or posts or whatever you want to call them normally uh, when going through my OnlyFans account for, or I'm sorry, on Twitter. And for many of you, you know that every day you get up, you look at your Twitter feed. If, you know, you see a promo, it's because it's succeeding. You know, some other person that you follow now, you know, has retweeted that and that makes it so that you see it. But I don't see, I never see any of their um, tweets, you know, uh, besides the promo, not even the promos. But I mean, I rarely, rarely see their actual core tweets that could get them more promotion and get them more followers. So I was a little suspicious of that. Now, you know, they purport to be a legitimate OnlyFans promo. Um, you know, I, you know, I see, um, you know, I see them, you know, sometimes, as I mentioned, but not not enough for me to say, oh, okay, this is actually a legitimate promo. You know, so, you know, I, you know, investigated a bit more behind the very high like and retweet numbers on their posts. So for instance, when I was doing the posting this week, uh, I have a pretty extensive amount of followers. And then I have other uh, accounts that are similar uh, that help, you know, retweet that have their own kind of promo vein, you know, whether or not it's a girlfriend experience or sugar dating, they are, they have their own purpose and their own promo. And obviously we retweet, you know, on, on those. And still you see that generally speaking, people are a little more hesitant to retweet what they might see as a competitor only fans account. Most of the time, if there's going to be pictures of other models that someone retweets, it's usually someone they know within the community. They're trying to help. They might be doing a share for share, retweet for retweet. You know, somebody that's their friend that they, you know, are 
you know, associated to. So usually you don't get as much retweeting when you do a promo. It would be ideal if you did, but you know, the facts are that's just not normally how it works. It's like you need the promo system itself to get the word out. And hopefully some people in the OnlyFans community will